Hey, it is Gary from 3Bug Media. Today I'm going to show you how to add a UTM tracking parameter to your Google My Business listing so you can track the clicks and traffic that come from Google My Business to your website in Google Analytics. Now, inside Google Analytics, currently there is no separate way to track Google My Business clicks and traffic. They're all lumped in to, I'm going to show you right here, they're all lumped into organic traffic. So organic traffic is organic traffic from Google. That includes Google My Business, Google Maps, uh, and your organic search results. But it doesn't separate your Google My Business traffic. So if you want to figure out how many clicks you're getting and how much traffic you're getting from your Google My Business listing, I'm going to show you how to add a tracking parameter here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hop over to Google My Business and on the home screen here, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down where it says your business is on Google and share your business profile. So we're going to grab our profile link here. We're going to copy that. And then the next thing we're going to do, and don't worry, I'm going to put the links to this so you have all of these links that I'm going to show you so you don't have to worry about writing them down. Now, Google has a free campaign URL builder, and this is where we're gonna build the UTM link. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paste in our short link for our Google My Business profile. And under campaign source, it's going to be Google. And under medium, it is going to be organic, oops, I spelled that wrong, organic traffic so it's going to be organic and campaign name we're going to call it google my business with the underscore in between those words so these are the tracking parameters we're going to use the campaign source is google organic traffic and google my business and if we come down to the bottom here you can see here the tool created the full tracking link so we're going to copy that link and we're going to head back to our Google My Business profile, and we're going to go to Info. And when we scroll down, we'll see the spot for our URL. And you can see here, I already added it. And we're going to add, we're going to replace the regular website URL with this extra tracking parameter, and we're going to click Apply. So sometimes it may take a few hours before Google approves it. Uh, so be patient with it. You may not see it right away. It could take a couple hours, could even take a day or two. You may see that it says under review, but don't worry, it'll get approved. So once we have that, now you have to give it a little bit of time because now you actually have to get some links, people clicking from your Google My Business profile over to your website. But once you give it some time, maybe a week or so, what you can do is you come back to Google Analytics and I'm going to show you here. We're going to go back to the start screen. And where we're going to find this information is we're going to click on acquisition. And all the way at the bottom here, we're going to click on campaigns. When we click on campaigns, we're going to click on all campaigns. And you're going to see right here. Now we have a campaign for Google My Business and it is now showing you the metrics separated for your Google My Business traffic. So now your Google My Business traffic, you can separate that traffic from your overall Google organic traffic and you can start to get a better idea how many people are clicking, not only clicking on Google My Business to come to your website, but also what they're doing on your website and if they're converting. So if you have goals set up like downloads, contact form fills, things like that, you can track those conversions now inside Google Analytics. So it's super easy to do. Hopefully this was an easy, easy explanation, but just let me know if you have any questions.